Hmm. How they say being in the hospital is no fun. Oh, but it is. It is, especially when you get to play doctor. <laughs> you all set to go. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Against my better judgment. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much I missed you? Yes. Mm, show me again, oh, Doctor. Oh, I will. Again. Good Lord. Get your lips off of her now. Excuse us, Pam, but this is a private room. I have put in 25 hours a day, eight days a week to take your ratings to the stratosphere. I did not work my adorable little booty off so you two can blow it all now. Pam. This? We'll kill the new divorce. You have to keep it on the down low. Actually, Pam, I was thinking maybe we could take the show in a different direction, like me telling the world. I'm still madly in love with this gorgeous woman. Mm, Pam, it's true. Jack and I have decided to stay married. You can't do this. Our ratings are through the roof. Stop now, and your next episode will rank just below public access reruns of city council meetings. Actually, you know what, Pam? I actually think there's a large portion of Erica's audience that would like to see us get back together. They sure would, Pam. Me too, but not yet. Story arc, people. Build up suspense. I want viewers on the edge of their seats until the day your divorce is supposed to become final. You can't be serious. We, you, have potential for a dozen more episodes with record ratings. That means ad dollars, lots of them. But not if you take the exit ramp into Happy Land. All right, little Miss Exit to Happy Land. Erica and I are not going to keep up this charade just to keep your advertisers happy. I'm not asking you to drag this out forever. Just a couple more weeks, a tip here, a spat there, then an Emmy-worthy reunion finale. Would that be so bad? It'll be fabulous. You're ready to wring her neck. You can't stand the sight of his face just when we think all hope is lost. A friendly dinner. Wine. Candlelight. <laughs> They're playing your song. Bam. Hot sex. Afterglow. Erica and Jackson in love. Cue music. Roll credits. The audience goes nuts. And Pam gets a big fat raise. <laughs> My God, you're actually thinking of doing this. I also now feel an obligation to my fans. Well, lucky them. Jack, you don't want them to feel ripped off. I mean, they've been waiting for this as much as I have. Sweetheart, we found our way back to each other, finally. And now you're telling me that the show must go on? Jack, do this, please, for me. An audience of millions holds its breath until the very last minute when you burst into the courtroom, tell the judge to tear up the divorce papers, you're still in love. Think of the hope you'd be giving to other couples. A translation, think of the ratings. Exactly. Jack, if you do this for me, if you play out the show as if we are still at odds, as if we are still getting the divorce, I will tell the world that I was the one who didn't want the divorce. I will admit, on the air at least, that I was the one who caved. That I gave in. That you were right and I was wrong. Do you actually mean that? Yes, of course I do. I absolutely mean that. Hallelujah. Now, this producer has to go produce an exit strategy for Mr. and Mrs. Smoochie Face. Back doors and separate cars. Stay here and do not, let me repeat, do not let anyone see you kissing. We made the right choice, right? I mean, of course this is the right choice for, for the show, but for us, too. Because... Well, we do still have some issues that we need to work out, and so maybe this will give us time to do that. You are going to go along with this. On one condition. I get script approval. Oh, my God, it is 
so good to be home. Mm, nice, sister. <clears throat> We're mm. toast. My inside source just faxed this over. It's next week's cover. Our audience is gonna die when they see this. They're not gonna see it.